I'm Carl Hooker, Director of Instructional Technology for EANS ISD. This is the Westlake Initiative for Innovation iPad Orientation video. Before you get the iPads, let's go over a few of the ground rules. You all are familiar with the acceptable use guidelines of the past for the district. Well, now we've changed those to the Responsible Use Guidelines for Technology. In there, you'll find a specific section for high school students talking about internet safety and security, as well as digital citizenship. We want you to care and love for your iPad, and we also encourage you to personalize it. But please remember that this is a learning tool provided to you by the district. One of the first tips uh, about your iPad is to make sure you don't change the name of the iPad. The name is located under the Settings button in the General area under the word Name. It should be named the exact same code that's on the back of your iPad. This is what allows you to get apps from us uh, and also helps us whenever you have a lost or stolen iPad. In taking care of the external parts of your iPad, you want to avoid prolonged exposure to heat. That could come from being inside a car on a hot day, or in this case, a barbecue grill. If you want to clean your iPad, please use a dry cloth or shirt sleeve. Do not spray your iPad with water or chemical cleaner. And please do not submerge your entire iPad under water. We are going to do a very Many iPad breaks happen because of a stumble on the stairs or getting knocked off the edge of a desk. You want to avoid dropping your iPad at all costs. And certainly don't try to do like this guy is doing and drop it from a 60 foot lift. What happens? 60 feet, all clear. All right, that definitely does not look good. Take As you'll be setting up your email and access to your home folder and shared drives, you want to make sure that you protect your iPad with a passcode lock. To do that, go into Settings, click on General, scroll down to where it says Passcode Lock, and then turn your passcode on. At that point, you'll be prompted to enter a four-digit code, in this case, one, two, three, four, and re-enter that code. That code will be the one you'll use for whenever your iPad goes to sleep. That way, if it's ever recovered, no one will be able to access your personal files that you're already logged into. It's recommended that one of the other features you add to your iPad is the Find My iPad feature. This is located in Settings. Click on iCloud you'll notice after you log in with your Apple ID that you'll have the option of turning on the Find My iPad feature. While we can find your iPad within the school district walls, this will be very handy if you ever should lose your iPad outside of the school district. Go to iCloud.com to locate your iPad. Should the unfortunate happen and your iPad is damaged, you want to immediately take it to the juice bar, which is located in the Westlake High School Library. Upon receipt of this, your iPad will be assessed for damages, and whether or not you've received or paid for insurance will determine the amount that you owe at that time. Once you've paid that, you will receive a replacement iPad. Before you can download any apps from Self Service or the App Store, you'll need to make sure you log in your Apple ID. That's under Settings and under the Store icon. There you can sign in. And if you have an existing Apple ID, here's where you would fill that out. Now, if you don't have an existing Apple ID, I would suggest you go to appleid.apple.com to set up an ID without a credit card. Once you set up your Apple ID or iTunes ID, you can then click on the Self Service button. And notice all the apps that are available to you. Some of these are free apps, but most of these are usually where the district will put paid apps that you can download and redeem for free. I'm going to click on the iMovie app here, and I see I'm given an option to actually install it. It gives you a little overview of what the app is, and then you have an install button. And so you'd click on that to install the app and download it. At that point, you'll be asked for your ID, and then the download will begin. You get a warning like this tells you you will not be charged for it. You hit install, paste in your password, and you're good to go. I want to take a moment to go over a few of the apps that will help you keep organized. iFiles is the way you'll be able to access your home and share drives. 
eBackpack is the district's new content management system. This will be the ideal way to collect and turn in work to your teachers from the iPads. All secondary students' courses are already set up in eBackpack. You can log in with your Novell login at eens.ebackpack.com or download the free eBackpack app. Lastly, we now are on our second year of EANS using the Gmail mail client. You can set up the mail client on your iPad to receive your EANS mail. On the whsshaps.com page, click on the Wi-Fi link to find this video and more information about these apps and other instructions to help you with your iPad. This concludes the iPad orientation video. Thank you for watching and we hope you have an exciting year interacting and learning with your iPad.